Hello, this is Kevin Turner with TNT Brand Strategist, and I understand you are here to learn how to set up your LinkedIn account, your very first one. And so I'm really excited to kind of bring you through that process, and we're going to start right here. This is the opening page on LinkedIn. Uh, you'll notice up here you've got a join now. Um, it's also down below on the other side. We're going to go ahead and click that join now because we want to begin building our LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is the world's largest basically database of professionals. And so we want to join that in and, and become part of that. So the first thing we do is to enter in our email. We'll enter in a password. You can click show so you can see that password. Maybe write it down to make sure you remember it. Um, and then we're going to, if we like, read the user agreements, but nobody ever does. We're going to go jump right in. We're going to click uh, agree and join. So this is going to start the process. LinkedIn is very security minded. So often you'll get the security verification. Uh, in this instance, it's saying pick the one that's the right side up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That's going to step us into this next portion. Now, we'll basically put in a title. That's the title of our current job, right? LinkedIn will also tell us how many people have that job on LinkedIn, which is very beneficial to kind of figure that out. Uh, and then any time we see a box that we enter something, as we enter, we will notice there's a drop down box that's going to open up. That drop down box is called market value filters, and that's how LinkedIn organizes everything. In the employment type, right below the title, that was my title up there, in the employment type, that's actually in the order of ranking. Full time is uh, more valuable than part time, more valuable than self employed, more valuable than seasonal. So the better to the top for findability. Next thing here is you're going to have your company that you're working at or just recently worked at, and you want to type it in slowly because you'll get this another great drop down box. Those are filters also that are based on companies who have company pages. So you definitely want to use those because then they know you're working for a real company. If you don't have it, it's a gray box. It's not going to give you what you want to get out of that. You're not going to be able to be found that way. So next piece, the code is going to be sent to that email you registered in. You confirm it, type it in, confirm it. It's going to ask you a couple of questions. This is more for LinkedIn. They're trying to figure out who's joining LinkedIn and for what reason. Are you looking for a job? Would you consider one? Are you totally not interested in one? So they want to know. They want to know who their members are coming in. So they're going to keep that statistical information. Now, we've added our email, but this is going to actually go and check our email, if you give it permission, uh, to find contacts within that email so it can load those contacts to LinkedIn because LinkedIn would like to load those and, make, and send them a notification to connect with you. You get to choose who you get to uh, connect with, but LinkedIn does this to make it easier on you. So you can continue or you can skip it. You can always do this later on your profile, but I really suggest doing it because it's going to launch you with a pretty good network to start with. And uh, I think it's a great way to do it. Lots of time savings. LinkedIn says they will not ever go after those names and you can delete them once you're uh, done. So. Then LinkedIn's going to suggest if you decided not to do that, it's going to say, here's some people that we think you might know. Well, I didn't know any of them. Uh, I'm going to jump in here. This is where you're going to bring in your profile picture, right? Profile picture should be about uh, 400 by 400 and light in the sense of uh, not too heavy, not too detailed. Plain backgrounds, bright backgrounds work well. Busy backgrounds don't. Uh, you know, in a group of 10 people or so far away I can barely see you, you want them like this. You want them where the, somebody can actually see you and connect with you as a person. So close up are, are great. Uh, they do make that connection. So this is mine. I like that bright background. And again, it makes it kind of stand out because sometimes on LinkedIn, your picture is the size of a thumbnail, right? And this really kind of helps separate you and uh, it definitely works. Now, LinkedIn's also got to have, you know, some filters. You can change the coloration. Uh, you can adjust it. Uh, you can zoom in and out. Mine's already kind of positioned right, so I didn't have to do that. You can straighten them. If you're kind of at an angle, you can bring it back straight forward. So finding that picture shouldn't be too hard. You should be able to take it with a smartphone or find something that you've got and kind of work that picture to represent you well. And that's the key. It should look like who you are today. Now, the other thing is you want to make it available and open to everyone. So you want them to be able to see you and see basically 
you want them to be able to see your profile picture. And uh, the, your best option there is always going to be anyone that's going to be on LinkedIn and off LinkedIn, right? So a good thing to do. Uh, next, uh, we're going to hit continue here because we like the picture. It worked. Um, from there, LinkedIn is going to suggest some content because part of LinkedIn is it does produce a lot of content. Members produce a lot of content. And this helps LinkedIn understand you a little better by what content you might choose. And so they're going to suggest some things based on, you know, the position, things along that line. So that is very helpful in that sense. Then it's going to suggest people you might know based on the people you connected with already, potentially, or if you didn't have any in there. Now, from there, your profile is actually set up. So this is the beginning. And LinkedIn will always give you guidance on what do you need to do next on that profile? Because we got it started today, but that's as far as we went. We'll have another video on taking it from here to perfecting that profile so that you can be found more often for what you want to be found for. Take care. Have an incredible day. Hope this was helpful. If you'd like it, please comment, share, subscribe to the channel. There's over 57 videos there to help you be better at LinkedIn. And I really appreciate it. Uh, take care. Have an incredible week. Bye-bye.